Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome back to my daily reading. This is Anna. This is a reading for Thursday, November the 13th. Okay, so two tarot cards, one oracle, the six of pentacles, the uh, hangman, and then the queen of clubs. And uh, again, we've got this team, the theme of money here, okay? Um, not surprising considering that we, the moon is in Taurus, an earth sign, and so we do examine um, our material surroundings and blah, 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 blah. Anyhow, Six of Pentacles in this card indicate there's one word when it comes to this deck in particular. When I see this card, it's greed. Um, and of course, imagery. When you're reading tarot, you have to look at the imagery as well because the imagery will affect the meaning. Okay, the, you know, you just can't keep one memorized thing in your brain. Anyway, I'll get off the soapbox. All right, so Six of Pentacles, you see this money coming out of the satchel, boop, 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 just falling out. And interestingly enough, this person, oh, look at this person. But yuck, look at this. Their feet are not human anymore. They're beastly. They're, 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 so this person is transforming. And so you know how they say money is the beast, money is evil, and blah, 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 whatever. But yeah, this person is so engrossed with the material here that they are beastly themselves. They are turning. They are, this is greed and it's really taking them over from, from the ground up. They're transforming. Okay. So what happens with this greed? What happens with this individual that keeps uh, spending money? They spend money. They want money. They spend more. They get more. They want more. You get the picture, right? What happens? Well, everything, anything that comes in their path, okay, anything that comes in contact with this individual, anyone especially, oh, they're hung up. It's the hangman. They're left dangling and flapping in the wind. They take and take, and I like how this individual is holding bags. What are in the bags? I don't know. But since we are talking about money, there could be money in there, right? There are the coins. So this person's hung up, giving the money, here's the money, blah, 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 and they're left flapping. And it's a big sacrifice to them, to this person here in the, in the hang, represented by the hangman card. They're making huge sacrifices, and it's just all because of the greed of this individual who could care less if they're dangling here financially, okay? The queen of of uh, clubs is a woman who is watching all this. She's watching the spectacle. I mean, she's, if you see her, she's looking down. She's taking a stroll through the country. Uh, queen of clubs is a woman that doesn't, she enjoys the countryside, okay? And she enjoys the comfortable surroundings, but mostly she loves to be outdoors and that kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, she's looking down at these two cards and she's saying, oh my, what the heck? She was like, look at this, look at this spectacle, look at this ridiculousness, you know? And um, that's a problem. This is a problem because she's watching it and it almost feels like she is. She doesn't have the power, or she's not in the position to, to stop this person from doing this to this other individual, you know? And that's tough. It's tough when you see this greed um, taking place, but you can't really, you don't have the power to say anything or you know it's not you're not you know you, you you would be out of place um to to speak up and when you do speak up you get backlash right you get that backlash in tongue in in terms of someone lashing out at you with their own tongue and their words and you know and it's just so difficult to deal with that kind of situation and all you can do is watch you know we watch as the spectacle carries on we're watching this taker, 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 and the giver, 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 and you're wondering, when is this ever going to end? When does this cycle of greed end? When is it going to end? When is this person going to stop? We don't know. We don't know. At this point, I don't know. This is a general reading. So, if this is describing someone you love or your situation, you know, all I can say is that you, there's not much you can really do about it. I mean, you you, you just there's, you know, there's this politics even within the family unit, right? You know what I'm talking about. There's politics. It's like especially when it comes to in-laws or brothers-in-laws and sisters-in-laws and this and that or my uncle and my great uncle and all this stuff. You know, in, where and you're like in the middle and just kind of watching or you're in the sidelines and you would like to do something because the queen of clubs, she likes to get in on the action. She likes to be active and help uh, bring about some sort of resolution, but 
She is forced to sit on the bench on the sidelines and she's not being called into the game. You know, she's not being called in. Um, so it's tough. It's tough when you want to act, act, act and, and, and bring resolution or help bring that resolution. But we're forced to sit on the sidelines, folks. That's what's going on. So whether this is describing you, another female, or you know, you as female like myself, or or you a male, you're you're forced to sit on the sidelines and you want to get in on the action, but you can't. You just have to watch this ridiculousness continue on and on. There's not much we can do. This is sort of like a stalemate. Okay. There's not much that we can do. And I'm gonna leave it at that because I wanna keep repeating myself here until I turn blue in the face. Until someone gets it, you know. Anyhow, I hope this reading uh, brings about some sort of enlightenment. And yeah, we're stuck on the sidelines, but I guess that's our role for now. There's a purpose for it. There's a role, you know. I guess if this person, the hangman, does not empower him or herself, then who are you to empower them, right? They have to, they have to take that initiative, you know. They need to man up or woman up and stand up for themselves once in a while, right? You can't do it for them all the time. So that's our role for now. And that's all I'm going to say. Have a blessed day always. And I will see you tomorrow for the weekend reading. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.